guys i am back with episode five i can't believe it's been five episodes already of my um new series on my channel my little minis um as you can see we have some our generation some og doll little mini packs i am so excited to show you guys um some of these i got in the store and some of these i um ordered from target.com because like i mentioned in previous videos um, you go to the Our Generation website and it will link you back to Target.com because they have some type of collabo going on. So as you can see, we have six little kits here. This one, guys, is busted up. But because it was so cute and it was the last one and it was on clearance, I picked it up. But this, I'm going to take the stuff out anyway because it's going to be used for my dogs and photography and stuff. But this is just... I don't know. It looks like the dog got it. I'm not too sure. But anyway, um, so we have some really cute things. We have two different themes here from the look of the packages. So we're just going to slide that back there. Um, and if you guys didn't know, our generation are OG dolls. Um, they make dolls and accessories for dolls for 18 inch soft body dolls. They're very similar to the American Girl dolls. So um, they come with a whole line of these little kits here. Um, if you see my other videos, they have things like the food truck, the hot dog snack bar. Um, they have a little kitchenette set, a little horse stable. They have lots of things. Um, and it is because of my love of minis that I am sharing these guys with you and then I'm doing an unboxing and giving you my thoughts on the products as well. So um, we just have these two, which are like the, I'm gonna call it like the everyday kits that they have. And this is really cute. This is what their packaging looks like. It says, this is our story. This is the bag. And it gives you a little story about our generation. Um, this one is the let's do lunch kit this one is the talent and mathematics kit now I do have um, the locker and I do have the little student desk set from our generation which I will probably do a walkthrough of that I've already busted it open um, just to see what it looks like because I got excited when I got it um, but I will show you guys that as well down the line these little kits, they range from $6.99 to $7.99 all the way up to $9.99. So they are affordable um, for yourself as in a collector or if you're purchasing these kits for um, your little ones as additions to play with their little dolls. So these are the regular little packs. And then we have something that is called our generation retro and basically what this is it's just like their take on old school or what they you know what they consider old school things it's absolutely adorable um i have my eye on the little 50s diner that they have it's not available in stores but it is available on target.com it is absolutely adorable guys i'm really thinking about if i'm gonna get it or not but so as you can see here this one says make a milkshake and then we have here pop popcorn and then we have um sweets and treats and then the one with the busted up box is real cool so it's a little play on words real r-e-e-l so we're gonna put the retro ones in the back i'm gonna zoom you guys in a little bit and then we're going to open up the let's do lunch and once again, I've mentioned this before, but I love their packaging. It's kind of very eco-friendly. It's all cardboard for the most part. A little bit of plastic packaging, but not a lot. Um, I see we do have some strings, so I do have my scissors to the side. So we're just going to cut these little strings. This is very easy for your kids to open. Or if you just want to do it for them, you can. But this is... This is not like the bigger packages where even I've had issues getting those packages open. See, and what I mean by eco-friendly, they use little threads instead of little plastic stays when they can to keep the package, the products to the packaging. So we have that. Let's see if I can get the other stuff out without... Oh, 
Okay. We got that. Now, it does have some tape on the inner workings to keep all of this stuff inside. There we go. We'll put that off to the side. And then let's see if we can just trickle that on out of there. Come on. There we go. Yay. So, that didn't take me that long. So, it looks like we have a little croissant, which is cute. It's very, very cute. We have um, slices of Swiss cheese. I wish these Swiss cheeses were separated, but they're not. And it's not like I can slice them apart because I think it was just molded that way. So, we have little Swiss cheese. We have the little bottom of the croissant for a little croissant sandwich. So, I guess you open it up like this. Then we have some little meat. This looks like bologna, but I'm not 100% sure. And once again, it's molded together. So you can't take it apart, which I guess is great for younger kids. But for collectors like myself, and I wish it was apart. So you put that there. You put that there. And you put that there. And then you have yourself a little sandwich. That's kind of cute. Next up, we have our little water bottle. Because we need to be health conscious these days. It's really cute. I wish there was some type of numbers or something on the bottle. You know. Make it a little bit more realistic. Because that's how water bottles they can tell you how much water you're drinking. But, I mean, the top does come. And it does come connected. So you won't lose it. It is see-through and it is plastic. But that's my only complaint about that. And then we have a little yogurt cup here unfortunately it's just one piece of molded plastic you can't open it and pretend i guess that's okay but as a collector i really wish it was a little bit more interactive but these kits are not that expensive like i said they range from 7.99 to 9.99 so it is what it is and then we have the main piece which is the lunch box and there's a little plastic um attachment here I'm just going to try to cut off real quick. Ooh, they got this thing on here good, don't they? Let's see if I can just pull the rest of it off. There we go. And it says, I love you, sweetie. XL. And then the same in French. Je t'aime mon amour. XL. So that's cute and it's a little um let's get these threads off see that's the only part i don't like i like the threads because they're equal conscious but they leave little holes in the product which is yeah i don't like that they have a little pouch to put stuff in you can unzip it it does come with some paper, tissue paper in there and then this is what it looks like um, we see some raw edges, but it's the inside of a little kit, so it's to be expected. The stitching looks pretty decent. There's a little OG tag, so it's not too, too bad. And let's see if everything will fit in here. I wish there came a little package to put your sandwich in, but there we go. And... It all fits in there. That's cute. Um, what what issue are we having here? There we go. Got stuck on a little inside, and then it has a little holder like this, so your doll can hold it. This is a little heavy for the dolls. Um, you would probably have to use like a rubber band or something to get them to hold it if you're gonna take pictures or anything like that. But that's cute. Next up is uh, this one. We're just going to where's my scissors nobody has time for this now this i wish was, it was a little bit easier to get into but you know without making so much of a mess there we go okay so and then it's another secondary shell okay that came out pretty that came out pretty pretty easily but wait guys there's more there's a whole nother section 
And this is how they do their bigger play sets, which is a little annoying because it's tape all over the place. And I know why they do it, but dag on it. Dag on it. It takes forever to get this stuff out. Okay. All right, now that we got that out, let's see what we're working with. Let's clear some of this off. We have a, oh, ridiculously cute little binder here. It's really cute. This is what the back looks like. It has actual little paper, lined paper. It has some little dividers in it. It is absolutely adorable. I don't think you can open it, though. It would be awesome if you could open it to add more stuff. Oh. <gasps> I'm a liar. Guys, it can open. Oh, guys, it opens. And you can take the paper out. Oh, my God. Okay. Take it back. 100%. This is awesome sauce. This is awesome sauce. This is, this is awesome sauce. It opens and everything. So, that's cute. I have to figure out how to get the paper and maneuver the paper to um, get it to close. But you can't take the paper out and refill it and stuff if you wanted to. See, and there it goes. That's the closing mechanism. Okay, so that that is cute. That, I absolutely adore that. This looks like it is a little eraser here. We have a little calculator. We have a little ruler. And it does have the numbers on there. So that is very cool. We have... A triangle ruler and it has the numbers on there as well we have a little pencil sharpener and then we have a little protractor it's so cute with the attached pencil and I'm pretty sure the pencil does yep the pencil is removable so it does come out so this um I I that's what I can say of opening a couple of our generation packages these little play packages they, their attention to detail for um, this type of stuff is on point. Um, I think where they need to step their game up a little bit is on the food. Um, it needs to look a little bit more realistic. Um, but this type of stuff is awesome. That's great. So I like that. Let's go on to the, the box that's already tore up. And remember, this was the Rural Cool set. I don't know if this is going to be on the website, guys. Um, it says it's marked out. It was marked out at my Target. So, um, if you're really interested in getting it, I would go check to see if they have it. Or just to check on the Target.com website to see if they have it. And I'm just going to pull this stuff right on out of the plastic. I think that is everything. And then there's a little informational little tag in here that I'm going to get out. If I can get it out. There we go. And it says, video camera has a viewfinder with an image. <gasps> Word? This is the video camera. It's, it's one of those vintage looking ones. It's kind of cool. There's a handle for your doll to be able to hold it. Um, there is a button here. Um, this does turn up and down the lens here does move so there is some interactive elements let me just check real quick <gasps> guys this is so cute this is so adorable i wish i could show you but i can't um the image on the inside of this thing is the dolls and they're at the little retro 50s diner so that is absolutely freaking adorable i like that a lot we have some film reel here And then we have the OG Studios clapboard, and it does work. And that's cute. So for me, these are going to work great as props. Next, we are going to open up the Make a Milkshake set. And this will probably look great in that 50s diner I was telling you guys about. Uh, I think it's the sign that I should get the diner, the images of the diner, and a little film recorder. Then we have this. I'm telling you guys, I think it's the sign. So let's 
see if I can get this out without causing too much of a fuss. Let's take the little paper kit out. Um, we got that. We're able to get that and that. And we just need to get the big piece out. Okay, that wasn't too, too bad. That wasn't too, too bad. Um, I didn't show you guys the back of the packaging here. Um, this says, this is our story. Look out world, our generation of girls is here to stay. There has never been a generation quite like girls like us. This is our time. This is our story. That is so adorably cute. Okay, so let's see what we got here. We got a little poster it says og milkshake delicious and then on the other side is in french we have a little spoon we have a little milkshake with the straw and the strawberry on top is the straw removable no so unlike the other ones um the straw is removable but it's a good size we have one of those old school containers of straw of straws, paper straws. I am trying to see if I can get this open. And unfortunately, I don't think this opens. So that's a downer. I would have wanted it open. And okay. And then we have the milkshake. Wait, there's some little plastic bits back there. Let me take those off. Okay. Then there's the little milkshake container the cups do spin they do come off so that is that is that is a nice thing that the cups do come off for some interactive play there and then the cups do you can turn the spin like they're spinning their little milkshake around so that's really cute what really would have been nice if they would have made this battery operated in the inside and you could just push a little button and these actually spin on their own. That would have been dope. I'd have been excited about that. And I probably would have paid more money if that did that. But that's just my opinion. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys agree with me or not. That it would have been doper if this was. If it was battery operated. Next we have the sweet treats pack. Let me move this back there so we can make some room. Okay, so once again, it is the same kind of packaging. They wrap this stuff up like Fort Knox, which is good and bad because you can't get the stuff out, but it won't get damaged. But it's a little annoying for my taste. Okay, there we go. All right. Okay, now we have, let's see what the little insert. It says, it says yum yum bubble gum. That's all it says. So I don't think this one has any interactive elements. We're about to find out. We have a old school Jujubee's box of candy and it does open and it has little jujubees in the inside so that's cute we have um a og girls sugar daddy lollipop right here that's cute then we have og girls bag it's pink with blue polka dots. Um, the front says candy bag and then the back says oh, the little OG design. The handles are pink. The inside, um, there's some raw edges, but it's inside of the bag, so that's to be expected. But the stitching is good. If you flip it out like this, you can see the stitching is nice nice clean stitches that's what we like on the outside the stitching is pretty good we have a loose thread here but we can just trim that off but overall the stitching is really good on this bag and then we have the gumball machine and it turns but unfortunately guys the gumballs don't come out 
the gumballs don't come out. Now, I'm a little disappointed because I would love the gumballs to come out. Um, I would love for the top to be able to screw off to put the gumballs back in for play, um, for pretend play. Also, if you're making, you know, stop motion or whatever um, you're doing these days that doll collectors like myself do. Um, I just wish it was just a little bit more interactive. That's all. But for the price point, it is what it is. It's cute. So it's a cute little prop. So there we have that. And then the last one here, guys, let's move. Let's move our math kit back there. We have is the pop, pop, popcorn kit. Now, the pop, pop, popcorn kit probably, I'm going to say, probably works back to the movie theater that they have. They have a whole movie theater play set. It is... Um, don't quote me on this, but I believe the retail price for the um, movie theater set is $149.99. They do sell it in the stores as well online. I saw it actually in the Target today when I was there earlier. Um, oh, there's some extra stuff with this one. Okay. I'm all off camera because I'm trying to get it open, guys, for you. I know you guys don't want to see me just opening packages, but I was just trying to get it open really quick and pull everything out okay by far this was one of the easier packages to get into we're just gonna put that to the side now let's see what we got we got some old school popcorn it says popcorn salt and buttery it's a little bit more realistic but i wish it was a, a little bit more realistic than that but that's just me being picky we have a soda container, which the top does come off, so that is kind of cool. Does the straw come out? The straw does come out, so that's nice. You can completely take it apart. So, I am a fan of that. We have, what is this, guys? Um, a chocolate bar. That's what that is. And you can take out of the chocolate bar so i think that's cute and then we have there we go oh this is cute this is adorable i like this i like this this is popcorn salt and buttery and then it has a little drawer that you can pull open that has a little popcorn i don't think this comes out i think that's firmly glued in there but this turns like they do at the movie theater when you're watching your popcorn being made. So it turns and it flips upside down. So that's cute. And does the door open? Are, are you going to rock my world? Oh, and the door opens, guys. The door opens. The door opens. So this is very cute. I definitely, I think this is adorable. To me, this has more interactive functions than the milkshake or the gumball so i kind of like that i feel like i got my money's worth with this little kit that is adorable plus it came with some extras here now let's see if we can try to get these open we're just gonna pull it out because it's more tape okay so we got some stickers so that's nice and it works back with the movie theater or the movie set. So that's cute. And then we have a little poster that says, uh, we'll turn on the English side because the other side, of course, is in French. It says, movie night, dreams come true, OG popcorn, salt and buttery, OG cinema. So yes, to me, it does um, play back into work back into the OG movie theater set. So that is all that i have for you guys um i think this overall i like it um could some things be better yes um my main two complaints is that i wish this worked better and i wish this was battery operated and spend with a little button like the actual milkshakes do but overall i like my haul um you will see it in upcoming videos um in some of my tutorials when I make bo room boxes for my dolls and things like that. So um, I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. And until then, I will talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye.